Hi there, so I wanted to do another video about the other partner. Um, I've spoken about this before, but there's some new information come through or some new awareness come through for me, um, which I wanted to share. So, <clears throat> it's funny because my twin said to me a couple of years ago when we were working together, he's like, I thought I wanted someone the same as me, but I was actually looking for my opposite. And that's like kind of hovered in my mind since then, like I've never really f fully forget, for forgetting, forgotten those words, because um, I've been kind of trying to understand what he meant by that, um, and, and now, I, now, I, now I understand, although I don't feel like, <clears throat> whilst that's, oh, sorry, whilst that's true, um, I think you're also looking for yourself as well, if you're a twin flame. It's not about one or the other, it's about merging the one that's the same as you with your opposite into balance. Um, so you, you want to be connecting with yourself essentially um, and also connecting with your opposite which will be either side of them as well, if that makes sense. So whoever you connect with that's that's on the same level or the same wavelength as you um, and then connecting with the opposite and then what you want to be doing is merging that into balance so that the two two halves of the masculine merge together and the two halves of the feminine soul merge together and it's funny because a friend said to me last night who's also on this journey she said um, in terms of the both fragments of the feminine or the masculine, whichever you want to talk about, but in terms of the two within the one female body or the two within the one male body, um, basically we are asleep in them and they are asleep in us, if that makes sense. Or you can say it the opposite way around, they are awake in us and we are awake in them. So it's like merging that into balance so that the whole soul can be conscious. Um, that's why you need to connect with your opposite as well because that then allows them to, once they come into balance, it allows them to be fully conscious rather than just partially conscious, which they've been before. Um, and also I find there's a lot of people that have... Um, on this journey they have like insane amounts of jealousy to start with or just um, judgment or bad feelings or stuff towards this other partner that, that they see their twin with and I wanted to clarify that for people that it's actually coming from a self-love deficit who your twin is with is you they've always been with you like everyone that they've been with has been fragments of you and until you pull that back into self, you will see them attached to your twin in some way or around your twin. <clears throat> um, it's almost like you have to go like up and down in the spiral of time. Um, I was listening to Shani from Realignment and she actually used those words which, which really resonated with me and made a lot of sense to me that it's like once you get into balance, you're, you're almost going up and down in the spiral of time, collecting all these fragments of self that you've become separate from in one way or another, and you're reintegrating them back into the one physical body, or re-merging the soul together. So basically, if you are on a different frequency to your divine state, or your divine presence, your divine state of balance, you're going to see another fragment or other fragments of you with your twin. It can be no other way. The only time that you will see them or manifest a fully single version of them to you is when you're fully available to self. So when you're fully integrated. Um, yeah, it's kind of funny because when you, I mean, I feel like people talk flippantly about, oh, you know, you need to be whole within yourself before you can 
come together with your your other half and it's true but it's it's such a funny phrase as well because it's like once you become whole within yourself you will actually receive that missing piece that you felt this whole time so it's a bit backwards it's like you only get them when you fill that void within yourself my twin said that as well by the way um and at the time i was like totally like resistant to filling any sort of void in myself because i had such a rejection of self happening at that time that I don't actually was feel like it was coming from the inside. Um, it was coming from things or beliefs or perceptions I'd received from the outside. But that's that's another video. Um, yeah, it's I I couldn't accept myself and I didn't love the like the whole of myself because I was made to reject it in some way or not not didn't feel like I was allowed to be one with with those other aspects and um, yeah it's like the more that I merge that together within myself the more I see um, I either see them in me when I look in the mirror or I see them around me like I've manifested them in my physical reality they're coming closer to me um, which is which is a nice feeling but but yeah you basically like if you think of it like a frequency like if you are on a lower frequency to the other other half of you in the the female body sense if you're a woman so not thinking of the the other half as the masculine body thinking of it as the as you're separate from the other half of self within yourself first of all um you it's possible that I don't know if this is true for all twin flames, but I feel like one aspect is on 3D and one aspect is on 5D. So, and that's intentional, but they're supposed to be together in the one being. They're not supposed to be split like that. Um, but essentially they're on different frequencies. And until you merge that, fre that lower frequency up to balance and merge that higher frequency, sort of down a little bit to to balance in the middle you you're gonna see your divine balance with with another person because they're with that higher frequency or that lower frequency version of you rather than um like being with you so once you fully get into balance with your your polarities essentially and and find that sort of infinity flow like I spoke about in the last video when you find that then you are you can magnetize the the other half in the in the opposite gender body does that make sense so yeah try to try to not be jealous of your twin being with this other person I know that's really hard when when all you want is is to be with them and just like you just want your soul next to theirs and you have zero patience whatsoever. It's like I want it and I want it now. I want it yesterday. But the fact is, if you got it yesterday, if it wasn't orchestrated in this way, if you actually received it, then you wouldn't have been able to hold union because you, or it would be chaotic because you weren't whole within yourself or you didn't have that balance within yourself. So yeah, so I think that's all for this video and I'll speak to you again soon.